Chechen leader says he is prepared to send his forces to support Palestine. Here's a summary of the article. We, Yahoo, are part of the Yahoo family of brands the sites and apps that we own and operate, including Yahoo and AOL, and our digital advertising service, Yahoo Advertising. When you use our sites and apps, we use cookie policy. Greater than cookies cookies allow the operators of websites and apps to store and read information from your device. Authenticate users, apply security measures, and prevent spam and abuse, and if you do not want us and our partners to use cookies and personal data for these additional purposes, click, reject all. If you would like to customize your choices, click, manage privacy settings. You can change your choices at any time by clicking on the privacy and cookie settings or privacy dashboard links on our sites and apps. This post received a score of 4400 with an upvote ratio of 90%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I swear this dude just wants us to remember that he exists. I thought he was already dead. Heard that too. He's just resting, probably pining for the fjords. I know a dead parrot when I see one and I'm looking at one right now. Greater than dead parrot you misspelled puppet. It's spelled P-P-T. Ha ha ha. Thanks. Best spell check ever. Lol. His troops were stuck in traffic when Prigozhin was speedrunning to Moscow. This clown won't do shit. Just to think Chechen used to be the most feared paramilitary against Russian Federation. A thorn in the flesh? All the badass Chechens are fighting for Ukraine. This dude says the same line whenever a conflict pops up. I mean even, if, and this is a big, if, how would they get there? The Russian Navy is not exactly known for its power projection. When their flagship isn't catching fire it's being escorted by a towing tug. The Air Force isn't exactly in a state to transport troops, and I don't think they'd risk their fighter jets. Lastly, the IDF outclasses Russian forces by leagues. So yeah, this dude is dreaming. If he does get called up, he'll probably have an ankle spurt and not show up. The VKS is struggling to operate in the Ukraine theater. Trying to do so over Israel would be suicidal. Dudes couldn't win against Ukrainian civilians and reserves I'm pretty sure IDF will not bat an eye at them even if they manage to get the RW. It would be just like the US versus Wagner. There's a 50-year technological advantage. Good luck. US Special Forces asked Russia if it was Russian forces shelling their position and Russia said, no, to which the reply was, oh okay. Within a minute F-22 Raptors along with supporting artillery fire and drones bared down full force on Wagner trapping them and killing about 300 of 400 of them. One of them reports that an Apache helicopter literally made them run around in a circle as they got gunned down. This is well documented and telling of how fucking piss poor they as a force are in the field of battle when against someone that can fight back. How is this animal still alive? Putin protects him. Because Putin can use him to do stuff and then claim plausible deniability. I don't think Putin cares about plausible deniability anymore. And how do you plan to deliver your forces? Fly them? By all means. That'll be fun to watch. Or were you thinking of sending them via the Chechen Navy? Lol. Dumb airbag. Through TikTok. Wireless transfer. Western Union. Well, not Western, certainly. Maybe Eastern. You could even say, Soviet Union. I don't think Hamas needs barrier troops. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.